Welcome everybody to Sunday Morning Gentle. Everybody here in the studio is laying on their back so you can come there when you're ready. Did I turn the music on? I thought I did. I'll check it in a second. All right, take your first few moments just to arrive. Let your breath start to take over. to control your breath yet we'll get there in a minute but notice your breath observe it let it take over as your breath takes over you know, push all those other distractions to the background focused on our mat, our practice, we can be fully present to our mat, our practice. Once you feel like you've got your full focus on your breath, and you can add that element of control to your breath. Just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. become longer, slower, deeper. So as you inhale, pull in that breath all the way down to your belly. with one breath, one movement. When you're ready to start moving here, take your knees and just hug them into your chest. We're just gonna do a simple twist right here. Let your arms go out long in that T position. Let your knees fall over to the right as you look over your left shoulder. And as you inhale, pull your knees back to center. As you exhale, let them fall to the left. Uh, back to center here. Just do that a couple more times each direction. Kind of waking up the spine a little bit. To the right. Back to center. To the left. Back to center. And then one more time each way. To the right. Center. To the left. And center. Now as we bring those knees back into the chest. Here, take your hands, bring them to the crease of your knees. We're just gonna rock ourselves up to seated, right? If you need to roll to one side or the other, you can. You can just rock yourself right up, do that. We're gonna come into easy sit. It doesn't matter which leg you put in front right now. 
right here. As you inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Now, as we exhale here, we're just gonna take a side bend. Drop your right hand by your right hip and just reach that left hand over. So you're just pulling that right, or that left bicep right over the left ear. Just hold for a couple breaths here. And then as you inhale next, bring both hands back up to the sky. And as you exhale, let's go the other way. Drop that left hand, reach that right hand up and over. And then as you inhale, come back up, take both arms up overhead. Now this time, as we exhale, we're gonna twist. You're gonna drop your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand, reach it outside your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. A couple breaths for right here. And then untwist, bring your hands back up. Now as you exhale, twist the other way. Drop that left hand back behind you. Take your right hand outside your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. And then untwist here. Bring both hands back up to the sky. Now, this time, as we exhale, you're gonna go back into that twist. So go to the right, take that right hand back behind you, take that left hand, reach outside your left knee. So open up into your twist. I want you all the way in the twist. Take that right hand, lift it up, and reach it over your left shoulder. Keep your left hand on your right knee, kind of look underneath your right armpit. Twist here, take both arms up overhead. Let's go the other way. So you first just drop into that twist. Left hand outside, or right hand outside the left knee, left hand back behind you. And then once you're all the way there, right, take that left hand, reach it up, reach your left fingertips over your right shoulder. Kind of look under your left armpit. Twist here, take both hands back up to the sky, turn your palms towards the front of the room, and then just drop them down in front of your shins. Walk it out here, walk as far forward as you can without letting your hips lift up off the mat. Right? Maybe that's just barely in front of your shins. Maybe you can drop down to your elbows. You can probably drop all the way down to your chest. <coughs> you just want to feel that pull in your hips. One more breath here. here. Now you're going to sweep your hands up overhead again. Now what I want you to do here, switch your legs. Bring your other leg in front. So it's your awkward leg. We're going to do that flow again, but we're going to do it a little faster this time, right? So a little less time with the awkward leg in front, but still going through all the same movements, right? You're going to drop your right hand to your right side, reach that left hand up and over, right? We're just going to move with our breath here. So on our next inhale, we come back up as you exhale, drop your left hand, reach your right hand up and over. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, take that twist. Drop your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside the right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Untwist, take your hands up. Go the other way. Drop your left hand back behind you. Right hand outside your left knee. Come back up the center. Now this time we drop into that twist. And then once you're open into the twist, sweep your right hand up. Reach over your left shoulder. And then untwist here. Take both hands up to the sky. Go the other way, twist the left, open up, and then sweep your left hand up, reach it over your right shoulder. And twist here, take both hands back up to the sky, turn your palms towards the front of the room, and this time as we exhale, we drop those hands in front of the shins 
and just walk it out here. You might not be able to go as far on this side with your more awkward leg in front. That's okay, just go as far as you can. Keep your hips on the ground, walk your hands forward. You wanna feel that pull in your hips. That's all we're going for here. Let's take two more breaths here. back up as we walk all the way back up here. Now we're going to come forward into a tabletop. You're going to bring your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Your hands are shoulder width distance apart, your knees are hip width distance apart. Let's take a couple cat cows here. So as you inhale, lift your chin up to the sky, tuck your tailbone under, let your belly drop, that's cow. As you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, right out your back, follow up your armpits, that's cat. So just keep moving here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So you can be going faster or slower than me as we do these. You can be going faster or slower than anybody else here. I'm just trying to find that place where we're matching our movement to our breath. Find the rhythm of your own breath. Match your movement to it. Couple more rounds here. And then let's meet back in neutral tabletop. Now, as we come here to neutral tabletop, you're gonna tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Come into your first down dog of the morning. Now your fingers are spread wide like starfish. You your pointer finger at the front of the mat, pushing your belly toward your upper thighs. You can add some movement here if you want to. Then one knee and the other. listening to your body as we go through the rest of practice. All right, from there, you're going to bend your knees, look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward, your hands, come to forward, pull. So now your belly is touching your upper thighs, your head is hanging heavy and long. Shake your head yes and no. Little creases in the back of your neck. As we inhale here, we're going to take a half lift into monkey, pull your shoulders even with your hips. Now your back is flat, crown your head, pointed forward. As you exhale, fold back down, belly to the eyes, bring the head towards the mat. This time as we inhale, we're going to take a big reverse swan dive and come all the way up to standing. We'll step back here so you guys can see me in the camera, all right? So let your right hand come to your right side. Take that left hand, reach it up and over. It's just like we did when we were in easy sit. Inhale, come back up to center. Now as you exhale, drop your left hand, reach that right hand up and over. And bring them back up. Now as you exhale here, drop into cactus arms. Bend your elbows, bring your elbows even with your shoulders, pull the shoulder blades together. Take your back bend here, push your hips forward, take your chest and your gaze up. Then we're gonna inhale, stand up tall, take your arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive it back down, into forward fold, belly to thighs. This time, as you get to forward fold, Keep your left hand planted on the mat or on a block. Take your right hand, reach it up to the sky. Push your right leg straight, put a little bend in your left knee so you feel that stretch go up through your right leg. As you exhale, let that right hand come down, plant it, go the other way. Right. Keep your right hand on the mat or on a block. Take your left hand up to the sky. Push your left leg straight, put a little bend in your right knee. As you exhale here, let that right hand come down. And then we're gonna go through that whole Sun salutation twice more, moving our spine it's all, in all its different directions. Now we'll move it faster, we'll move it with our breath. So inhale, half lift to monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up to standing. Drop your left hand to your left side, reach that right hand up and over. Come back to center, drop your right hand, or drop your left hand, reach your right hand up and over. Come back to center here. Take both hands to cactus arms. So you inhale, you open your chest. As you exhale, sink into that back bend. Chest and gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, stand up tall. Take your arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive it down. Once you're all the way down to that fold, keep your left hand planted. Take your right hand up to the sky. Put your right hand come back down, planted. Take your left hand up to the sky. Let that left hand come back down. 
back into forward fold. We're gonna take that one more time through. So we inhale, take that half lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reverse one back. Come all the way up. Exhale, drop your right hand, reach your left hand up and over. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop your left hand, reach your right hand up and over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, into those cactus arms. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come up tall, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive it all the way down into your fold. Keep that left hand planted. Take your right hand up to the sky. Let the right hand come down and plant. Keep the left hand up to the sky. Let that left hand come down and plant into your fold here. Take one more half lift into monkey. Reset your back, then fold back down. And this time, as we fold back down, we're gonna rise up into chair. So you're gonna bend your knees, send your hips back and down, and reach your hands forward. You can bring your hands to heart center, or you can take your hands up to the sky, whatever feels good to you, right? But look down, make sure you can see your toes and wiggle your toes, your weight's all back in your heels. Your hips are far enough back that your knees aren't covering your toes. We're gonna take an open arm twist each way here. So you're gonna reach forward with your left fingertips, wherever they are right now. Take your right hand, draw it back behind you. Right? So your chest is opening towards the right side of the room. Now, take that right hand, draw it all the way forward. Reach towards the front of the room. Take that left hand, draw it back. Bring your left hand back forward. Right? Sink into your chair, one more breath. Deep inhale here, and then as you exhale, just straighten your legs and drop your hands to the mat. Come back to forward fold. Right, now this time, from our forward fold, you're gonna keep your right foot forward. You're gonna step your left foot way back behind you. Come into your runner's lunge. So first get that right knee right over the right ankle. Get that left leg nice and long. Now we're gonna come down to our knee for these first couple poses. So gently set that left knee down on the mat. If you need your blanket underneath it or any sort of padding, get that there now. Make sure that your left knee is back behind your left hip and your right knee is right over your right ankle. Right? You don't want to put all that pressure on the left kneecap by having that left knee right underneath your left hip. We're going to rise up here and come into a kneeling crescent. So you're just going to peel your upper body up, reach your hands up towards the sky. And keep pushing that lower body forward here, right? But don't push your right knee past your right ankle. Like there's a bore there, right? That you're right hand pushing against, right? And then start to lean back with your upper body. As you start to lean back, maybe you take those cactus arms again, like we did in our sun salutation. Chest goes up towards the ceiling. If this makes you feel like you're gonna fall over, keep your shoulders over your hips. Now we're all gonna come back up here, bring your shoulders over your hips, take your hands up overhead, reach up high, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, you're gonna push your right leg straight, drop your hands down to the mat, lay your right toes. Flip up off the mat, drop your hands down on either side of your right leg, and just fold over that right leg into your half pyramid. Right? So square your hips off, push that right hip forward, draw that left hip back, push your left hip towards your left heel, but don't sit all the way down, even if you could, right? Keep a little bit of space. I want you to feel that stretch in your right hamstring. So you're lowering your upper body over your right thigh, bring your nose towards your right knee. One more breath here. Come all the way forward, bend back into your right knee, walk your hands on either side of your right foot. We're going to come into our twisted lunge here. You're going to plant your right hand on the mat, take your left hand up to the side. You can keep your knee down if you want to, or if you're ready, you can tuck those left toes under, come up off your left knee. Thank you, but you want to stack your shoulders over your chest towards the right side of the room, crown of the head going towards the front of the room. Now let that left hand come down outside your left foot. If you're still down on your left knee, now you're gonna come off your left knee. So everybody's gonna tuck their left toes under, come off that left knee. Now your right leg is gonna push straight again, and you're gonna step forward just a step or so with your left foot, right? So that both legs are straight. Both heels are on the ground. You can have both of the toes pointed forward. You definitely want those right toes pointed forward. If you want to angle your left toes out a little bit, if that makes it better for you, you can do that, right? But you want to drape that upper body 
over the right leg, just like we're in a half pyramid right now, we're in a full pyramid. We're trying to get that stretch through the left, through the right hamstring. Take another breath here. Now, we're going to use our core strength here, right? You're going to push away from the mat or from the block with your hands. You're going to lift your torso up. Turn your torso towards the left long edge of your mat. Take your hands up to the sky. Now, as you're here, right, maybe you want to step your feet a little bit wider. So we're here in this full five-pointed star. Reaching up towards the ceiling. So take a breath here. Make yourself as tall as you can. Lengthen out your spine. That's the point of five-pointed star. And then from there, you're going to turn your heels in and your toes out. Bend into your knees. Bend into your elbows again. Come back to those cactus arms. Drop into your goddess. Now, like there's a string on your tailbone. Pulling you towards the floor. Go as low as you can. And then from here, we're going to come back up, push your legs straight again, take your hands back up to the sky, turn both of the toes back toward the left side of the room. Once we're back in five pointed star, just turn your right toes back towards the top of your mat. Then into your right knee, drop your arms long, come right into warrior two. Take your gaze right over that middle finger on your right hand. So your hips are still. Square to the left side of the room, but your gaze is going towards the front of the room over your right fingertips. Let that left knee go towards the pinky toe side of your foot, right? Don't let it cave in towards your body. That's really bad for your knee. Now, from our warrior two, you're going to push your right leg all the way straight. Take your hands up to the sky. Don't move your feet, right? But grab your right wrist with your left hand and just pull that right hand towards the back of the room with the left. So pull towards the back of the room into your sky archer. So you're feeling that opening through that whole right side body. And then just release your right hand here. Bend back into your right knee. Drop your hands down on either side of that right foot. Turn your left toes towards the front of the room. And then take a step with that left foot. Bring it forward to meet the right. So you end up back in forward fold. Right, so we're going to do all that again on the left side. So this time, from your forward fold, keep your left foot forward. Just take a big step back with that right foot to come to your runner's lunge. So you've got your left knee over your left ankle, right leg nice and long. Again, we're going to gently drop down at the beginning to our right knee. Let that right foot flatten. Make sure you've got that right knee behind the right hip and your left knee right over your left ankle. We're just going to rise up into our kneeling crescent. So you're just Pulling that upper body up, reaching your arms up high. Push the lower body forward. Maybe start to lean back with the upper body. If it feels okay. And take those cactus arms again. Bend your elbows, opening your chest out toward the ceiling. That makes you gonna feel makes you feel like you're gonna fall over. You don't have to do this part. From there, everybody's gonna come up. You're gonna reach your hands up to the sky. Bring your shoulders over your hips if they weren't already. And then we're going to dive into that half pyramid. So your hands have to go down on either side of your left foot. As you do that, your left leg is straightening. Your left toes are flipping up off the mat. Hands drop down on either side of the left leg. Drape your upper body over that left leg. Square your hips here. Push that left hip forward. Draw that right hip back. Now you can bring your hands towards your left foot and have your hands back at your left knee or your right knee or your hips. It doesn't matter, right? It's a different sensation wherever you have them. So find where it feels best to you. Take another breath here. Now bend back into your left knee. Walk it all back forward. Look up. And then we're going to come into that twisted lunge. So you can keep your knee down or up for this twisted lunge. You plant that right hand on the inside of your left foot. Take your left hand up to the sky. So you're twisting to the left here. And again, if it's if your body's ready for it, you can tuck those right toes under, come off, with, off your right knee now. If you want to keep it down while we twist, that's fine too. From there, let your left hand come down. Now, if you're still down on your right knee, you're going to tuck those right toes under, come up off your right knee. Everybody's going to straighten that left leg. Take a little step forward with your right foot. Make sure that both heels are on the ground. Both legs are straight. You're draping that upper body over your left leg, staring at your left knee. If it's hard to get that leg straight, that usually just means you gotta bring that right foot further in, right? You might be right here. That's okay. If that's what it takes to get those legs straight. 
Maybe you can step further back. Everybody's different. Let's take one more breath here. And then we're going to draw it all the way up to five-pointed star, right? So you're going to peel that upper body up, reach your hands up high, let your hips turn towards the right edge of your mat this time, turn both sets of toes towards the right edge of your mat. So reaching up towards the ceiling, lengthen your spine. If you want to widen your stance or shorten your stance, you can. Right? Make yourself as tall as you possibly can. And then turn your heels in and your toes out, bend into your knees and drop your hips come down into your goddess. This is our second time through with Goddess. We're just facing the other side of the room now. Right? Your second time through, maybe you can get a little bit lower. Just try it. And then we're going to straighten our legs, take everything back up to the ceiling. Right, straighten your legs, reach your hands up high, turn both sets of toes back towards the right side of the room. And then once you're back in five points, sorry, you're going to turn your left toes back to the top of your mat. Bend into your left knee, drop your arms long, come to your warrior two. I didn't know that. <laughs> Over to the right. All right, so here we are now. You're looking right over the middle finger on your left hand. If you can see yourself in a mirror right now, and everybody in the studio should be able to, you wouldn't see your right hand disappearing behind you. It'd be disappearing behind you. You'd just see your left hand. That's how stacked up your shoulders are. Keep your shoulders over your torso. Over your hips, I should say, right? You want to be leaning forward back. And from here we're going to come into that sky archer. So you're going to push your left leg all the way straight. Don't move your feet. Just straighten your left leg. Take your hands up to the sky. Grab your left or stay right hand. Pull it towards the back of the room. And then release your hands. And back into your left knee. Bring your hands down on either side of your left foot. Turn your right toes towards the front of the room. Step your right foot forward to meet your left. So you're here in forward fold. Now from forward fold, you're going to toe your feet out wide. It's the edge of your mat. Turn your heels in and your toes out. And then you're going to bend your knees, drop your hips. Come down into your Malasana squat. All right. So I'm going to come down this is regular Malasana squat. If you're comfortable here, stay right here, right? If it feels better to sit down on your block, sit down on your block, right? If you don't have a block, or if it doesn't feel good to be in Malasana with or without a block, then you're gonna drop all the way down to your glutes, bring the soles of your feet together, and take a different angle. Right, so you decide where you wanna be, regular right? Malasana, sitting on the block in Malasana, or in your bound angle. All good options, right? I want you to be comfortable. So you can close your eyes here and bring that focus back to your breath. You've had this focus the whole time. That's great. Keep it right there. If not, you can reassert it. The same with the control of your breath. Maybe you've had control of your breath this whole time. Maybe you lost it while we were flowing. If that's the case, you can reassert it here. Lengthen your breaths again. Slow them again. Three more breaths. Eventually. We're all going to meet in tabletop, right? So bring yourself to tabletop. We're going to be there for a little while as we go through our core sequence. If you need a pad under your knees, do it now. All right, so you've got your shoulders over your wrists. You've got your hips over your knees. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Knees are hip width distance apart. Right, so like we did before, we're going to do this first one in our opening flow, I should say, like we did in our opening flow. We're gonna do this first one really slow. Then we'll do it another couple times through, moving with our breath. So we're gonna come just into a basic spinal balance at first. You're gonna take your right leg, extend it long behind you, bring it to hip level if you can. Toes pointed towards the ground, knee pointed towards the ground, 
right hip pointed towards the ground. Once you've got that in place, take your left hand, reach it forward. Right, so your left palm is open towards the right side of the room. Your left thumb is up to the sky. You're pushing away from the mat with that right hand, right? Don't bend into your right elbow. If you do that, you're using your right shoulder to hold you up. You can use your core to hold you up. Tighten up that belly. Now from here, we're gonna take a crunch. You're gonna bend your right elbow, or sorry, left elbow, bend your right knee. Touch them together under your chest. Tuck your chin to your chest as you make them touch and just hold right here. I'm gonna do this. Hold here for a couple breaths. And then extend it all along again. Come back through your spinal balance. Now from your spinal balance, you're gonna take your left hand, sweep it open to the left. Take your right foot, kick it out to the right. So now you're in awkward, right? You gotta really make sure that you keep your right shoulder over your right wrist. Keep your left hip over your left knee. Bring it all back through spinal balance. And then drop it all down back into tabletop. Now, as you get to tabletop here, let yourself shift back to child's pose. Take your hips over your heels. Reach your arms back long. And we're gonna do that all again on the other side. So when you're ready, bring it back up to tabletop. Right. And this time, we're going to start with the left leg. So the left leg's going to go long behind you. Toes to the ground, knee towards the ground, hip towards the ground. Okay. And then from there, take your right hand, reach it forward. Right palm towards the left side of the room. Right thumb up to the sky. Right, it's like somebody's grabbed a hold of your right wrist and your left ankle. And they're trying to pull you in opposite directions, right? You're getting longer and longer here. That's your spinal balance. Keep pushing away from that with that left hand. All right, let's add that crunch here. You're gonna bend into your right elbow, bend into your left knee. Touch them together under your chest. Tuck your chin to your chest, watch them touch. And just hold right here. It's a little different. Keep making those obliques work. All right, now from here, Open it back up into spinal balance. And then we're gonna take that awkward pose here. So you're gonna sweep your right hand out to the right, kick your left foot out to the left, flex your left foot like you're trying to kick yourself in the side of the head with your left foot, right? You're not gonna get that close. Pretend you could. Hold it for another couple breaths. Keep your left shoulder over your left wrist, your right hip over your right knee. Bring it all back into spinal balance. And then drop it down to tabletop. Shift back to child's pose. All right, we're gonna go through all that again a couple more times, but this time we're gonna move with our breath. It'll be a lot easier, I promise, right? It's a lot harder to hold these poses than it is to flow with them, right? But it's still gonna be a little bit of work. You can see how much easy it is, easier it is when you're moving with your breath, all right? So when you're ready here, bring it up to tabletop. Come to your spinal balance. Right leg back, left hand forward. <laughs> there we go. Take your crunch. Bend your left elbow, bend your right knee, touch them together, and then just open back up into spinal balance. We're not holding. Once you get back to spinal balance, you're just gonna sweep it open to awkward, and then bring it back to spinal balance. Drop down to tabletop. Shift to child's pose. All right, now come back up. Let's do that on the other side. Now you're gonna take your left leg back, right hand forward, come to spinal balance. Take your crunch, right elbow, left knee, come together. Bring it back to spinal balance. Sweep it open. Come back to center. Drop it down to tabletop, shift down dog. All right, so let's go one more time through. Rise up, tabletop, spinal balance, right leg back, left hand forward. Crunch, 
left elbow to right knee. Come back to spinal balance. Sweep it open to awkward. Bring it back to spinal balance. Drop it back down to tabletop. Shift to child's pose. One more time. On the other side, come to tabletop. Kick the left leg back, bring the right hand forward, spinal balance. Take your crunch, right elbow to left knee. Open back up. Sweep open to awkward. Come back through spinal balance. Drop it down to tabletop. Shift it back to child's pose. All right, now this time, from child's pose, we're gonna come up to tabletop. Let your hips just drop to one side or the other and swing your legs around in front of you. As your legs come around in front of you here, you're gonna keep your left leg right where it is. Bend into your right knee now. You're just gonna put your right foot on the inside of that left thigh, right? So don't step it over. Move like this. Now we're gonna take a twist right here. You're gonna take your right hand back behind your right hip. Wrap your left hand around your right knee and just look over your right shoulder. Little more breaths here. around. Now, as you come around, right, keep your legs where they are. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee, and then just start to fold forward. Reach your right fingertips towards your left toes. Maybe you can get there, maybe not, right? Your hand can be down on your ankle, or your shin, or your knee, like mine is right now, right? And that left hand can also start to reach forward, or you can wrap your left hand around your back, or take it to the side if that feels better. Three more breaths here. As you inhale next, just slowly peel up. All right, and let's switch out our legs. So take your right leg, let it go all the way along. Bend into your left knee. Just place that left foot on the inside of your right thigh, right? You might angle it, it might come out a little bit more, or it might be more by your calf or by your knee, or you might bring it all the way to your glute. Right? It's just your comfort level. Now we're gonna twist it first. You're gonna drop that left hand back behind your left hip. Take your right hand, hug around that left knee, and look over your left shoulder. Now bring it back around towards the front. Now you're gonna bring that left hand to the inside of your left knee, right? And start to lean forward, reach your left hand toward your right toes, right? You can grab your toes, that's great. Yeah, I can do it on this side, I can put it on the other side, right? But it's okay if you have your hand on your ankle, your shin, your knee, or wherever you make that connection, it's good, right? But then you're gonna reach forward with that right hand, maybe. Maybe you're gonna take that right hand, wrap it around behind your back. Maybe you're gonna use that right hand, take it out like a kickstand to push you up are. That's good. You want to feel this in your right hamstring. You feel it in your left glute and your left low back. So twist a little bit. Let's take three more breaths here. Next inhale, come all the way back up. All right, now you're gonna take that left leg, extend it long with the right, and we're gonna come into a full seated forward fold here. All right, so maybe you rock back and forth a little bit, get those sit bones, those bony bones in the back of your glutes to press into the mat. Sit up nice and tall, like there's a string on top of your head now, pulling you up towards the ceiling. 
sweep your hands up to the sky. Reach up as tall as you can. Turn those palms towards the top of your mat. Now, as you fold forward, keep your biceps by your ears as long as you can as you're leaning forward. When they're not going to stay by your ears anymore, then just let your arms relax all the way down. Let them land wherever they're going to land, on your ankle, on your shin, or your knee, maybe you're already grabbing your toes. Once you're there, use your breath to get a little deeper into this. As you inhale, you're going to lengthen your spine. Then as you exhale, maybe you can go a little deeper, walk your hands a little further forward. Do that a couple times. You inhale, lengthen, exhale, go deeper, inhale, lengthen, exhale, go deeper. Just helps you get that extra millimeter into the pose that your body was naturally willing to go. That's what we work with in yoga, right? Those millimeters. If you never push your body any further than it naturally wants to go, you're never going to see any difference in your flexibility. But if we push our bodies too much further than they want to go, we do more harm than good. So we gotta work, like I said, with those millimeters. Take a couple more breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly come all the way up. Shoulders over your wrists, <laughs> your shoulders over your wrists, over your hips. Right. Bend into your knees. So now the both feet are at the top of your mat. Right. You don't have to move. I'm just swinging around sideways so you guys can see me. So we're gonna lay down on our back now. Take your arms out long. Tuck your chin to your chest. Round all the way down so that you're laying on your back with your knees up to the sky. Now before we go into our inversions, right? We're gonna do one quick hip opener. We're gonna. Do the eye of the needle. So you're going to lift your right foot up. Put your right ankle on top of your left knee. Let that right knee fall open in a little figure four position. And then once you're there, you're going to lift that left foot up. Start to draw your left knee in towards your body. Take your hands behind that left thigh. So right hand goes to the inside of your left thigh. Left hand to the outside of the left thigh. And you're pulling that left leg towards you. It's your lever here, right? The more you pull that left leg towards you, the more sensation you're going to feel in your right hip. If you want to kick your left leg up to the sky, you can. If you want to bend it all the way and wrap your hands around your left shin instead of your left thigh, you can do that too. Or you can just stay where you are. A couple more breaths here. Getting that sensation in the right hip. Now, release behind that right thigh, let your right foot, foot float back down to the mat, left foot, sorry, release behind your left thigh, let that left foot float down to the mat, then you're going to take your right foot down to the mat, let's do the other side, pick your left foot up, put your left ankle on top of your right knee so that your left knee is falling out into that figure four position, once you're there, now you're going to pick your right foot up, start to draw that right leg in towards your body, left hand can go to the inside of your right thigh, left hand to the outside of the right thigh, Pulling that right leg towards you. It doesn't have to be the same as it was on the other side. You probably feel a little more, a little faster here on the left side. Most people do because most of us are right side dominant. If you've got more space here on the left side, take the extra space. Again, you don't have to torture your body trying to get it to look the same as it did on the other side. Now you can kick that right leg up to the sky. You can bend all the way into it, grab around your shin, whatever feels good. Let's take three more breaths. And then from there, you're gonna let that left leg or that right leg go. Put your right foot back down on the mat. Bring your left foot to join it. So now you've got both feet on the ground, your knees up to the sky. We're gonna go through our inversions here. So take your hands to your sides, palms face down. Walk your heels as close to your glutes as you can possibly get them. Maybe you're getting close enough that you feel your fingertips brush the back of your heels. Press into all four corners of both feet and lift your hips up to the sky. If you want to here, you can use your block, slide your block under your hips, make this a supported bridge. If you want to stay unsupported with your hips on the ground, just stay unsupported. You should tuck your shoulders at least slightly so your chest puffs open towards the ceiling. 
you're in an unsupported bridge and you want to make this really intense, maybe you work one entire shoulder than the other underneath your body. So clasp your hands underneath your body. That pushes your hips even higher. Couple more breaths here. And then as you exhale, if you're in supported bridge, right, you can either take that block out from underneath you or you can keep that block under your hips for waterfall. You decide, right? If you're an unsupported bridge, you're gonna let your hips come back down to the mat. Okay. We're all gonna go to our waterfall next. You're gonna take your feet, kick them up to the sky. Right, right now I'm in supported waterfall because I've got that block under my hips. It actually makes it slightly more intense because your hips are slightly elevated. If you wanna do this with your hips flat on the ground, just like this, that's fine too. Maybe you need full shoulder stand. That's where you lift your hips up on your own your hands this fall of your back so you're supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms right so you can be in shoulder stand you can be in waterfall you can be in supported waterfall listen to your body it will tell you which version of the inversion it would like to go to today we're all getting that increased circulation as we send the blood as we send the blood from the feet where it pulls all day back to our head and heart we need it more all naturally lowering our blood pressure all flooding the body with all those anti-aging, anti-stress hormones. Now when we're ready to come out of this, we're all gonna come out of it the same way. Bend your knees, let them scrape right along your face and body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. All right, if you still have that block under your hips, now everybody's gonna take that block out. We're gonna let our hips float to the mat. And we're gonna come into happy baby. And happy baby, you take your feet up to the sky again. Now this time, right, they might not come right over your hips. That's okay, right? You're gonna separate your feet, maybe slightly, maybe a whole lot. You're gonna bend your knees, again, maybe slightly, maybe a lot, maybe not at all. It's up to you. You're gonna reach up for your same foot with your same hand. If you can't grab your foot, grab your ankle, your shin your knee, right? Wherever you make that connection, it's good. Once you've made that connection, roll forward just a little bit so you feel that sacrum, the low part of your back, pressing into the mat. From there, you can rock from side to side and it should feel good, like you're giving yourself a little spinal massage. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it, just stay still, right? Maybe now that you're in the pose, you wanna change it, you can make your legs wider, straighter, you can bend them more, you can bring them in more. The happy baby should be feel good part of your practice, the happy part of your practice. So make it happy. Right? Change your leg position if you want to. Find somewhere where this feels really delicious. Hang out there for the next couple breaths. All right, now from here, you're gonna take your knees, hug them into your chest. And let's take our final twist here. So it's just like we did at the beginning of class, only now I've got a little extra time to stay, right? Let your arms go out long, like wings in that T position. As you exhale, drop your knees over to the right. <coughs> your knees drop to the right, your chin and gaze goes to the left. If you want to make it deeper, you can take your right hand, press those knees closer to the earth. Or maybe you extend your legs toward your right fingertips. Or you can just stay where you are. Whatever you're doing, keep keeping that left shoulder anchored. That's what's giving you the twist. All right, as you inhale next, bring your knees back up to center. And then as you exhale, drop your knees to the left, take your chin, your gaze over to the right. You're gonna take, if you want to take your left hand here, press as knee closer to the earth you can, or you can extend your legs toward your left fingertips. Just like on the other side, keep that right shoulder anchored. You can always finish off with this twist. It seals up our practice, lets our bodies remember everything we did today. So next time we come practice yoga, it's all a little bit easier. We go to where it's a little bit deeper. All right, as you inhale next here, bring your knees back to center. Give them one final hug into your chest and let's set up for our final pose our shavasana right let your legs extend long take your hands to your sides palms face down 
That's your traditional Shavasana, flat on your back. You don't have to stay there if you don't want to. Okay. You can bend your knees, you can butterfly your legs, you can roll to your side. What's this one? Just find somewhere to be. You're perfectly comfortable. We're gonna be able to stay perfectly still. In your mind is gonna be good to go. Be quiet. I'm gonna come around and I'll spray your towel if you're here in the studio with a little sea salt spray today. Your breath guide you to that quiet mind, right? You don't have to control your breath anymore. Just let your breath do what it wants to do. Keep noticing your breath, keep observing your breath. You should keep that complete focus on the breath. Even as you release control of your breath, then your breath can guide you right to a place where there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. slowly <coughs> start to come back into the room wiggle your fingers your toes doing that increase sensation that comes with the quiet mind if you want to here you can take your arms overhead do a nice full deep body stretch and then from there just roll over onto your right side in a fetal position okay a couple breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space, with the sights, the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right here. And when you're ready, and when you're ready, push yourself up to seated. And we'll close here. So we're gonna close just with our two Pumari breaths and then an Om. Pumari breath, we inhale, we exhale, make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. The ohm is the universal syllable. It uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths or you can just listen. Well, let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Mm. Inhale again.
your eyes drift open, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this morning. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. All right. All right, so I'll see you guys all Wednesday night for some yin. Liza will be here tomorrow morning for some payo, and then Heidi will be here tomorrow night. If you want more gentle, she'll be doing that then. All right, I will see you all soon. Have a great rest of your weekend.